I want to show you how to instantly recognize addict thinking because the longer you entertain those thoughts, the more likely it is that you will make a bad decision. But once you recognize that addictive thoughts actually happen in a certain pattern, you'll be able to see those thoughts for what they actually are. It's not the deception and the lies that we tell other people. It's the deception and the lies that we tell ourselves, which is why you have to get really, really good at calling these things out. Now, one of the fastest, easiest ways to recognize you're having an addictive thought is anytime that you're having a thought or a behavior that you feel like you can't tell other people. Now, I'm not talking about like that thought about, hey, someone's shirt is ugly. I'm talking about a thought or a behavior about something going on with you or something that you're thinking about doing. Ask yourself this question. Would I be worried about telling this to my counselor? If you're having thoughts about hiding some kind of thought or behavior like that, you can be sure that a bad choice is just around the corner. Now, another thing that you should look out for is anytime that you start to feel deprived, like for example, having a thought about, well, why can other people do X, Y, and Z and I can't, or that's not fair, or something like, I'm a grown ass man, I work hard, why can't I have fill in the blank? As you can see with that deprivation thought, relapse is just around the corner. You're already talking yourself into it at that point. You're already rationalizing it. Now hang in there because I have several more of these addictive thinking patterns for you. But I wanted to let you know that I did put the link in the description of this video for my free 30 day jumpstart video. This is a series of very short videos, like two or three minutes long that go right to your inbox. It's automated. So once you sign up, you don't have to do anything else. These videos are designed to keep you motivated, help you overcome roadblocks and recognize this type of thinking before it trips you up. The links in the description, it is totally free if you want to check that out. Now let's move on to our next addictive thinking pattern. Those little addiction monster mouths will start to whisper in your ear and convince you that using, drinking, engaging in whatever addictive behavior is actually a good solution. Sometimes it'll tell you it's the only solution. For example, I was reading in my comments recently and there was a person who was talking about their drinking and they were like, yes, I'm drinking too much. It's out of control, but I have these other issues and the doctors can't seem to fix them. And hey, this is my only solution. This video is brought to you by Clearly, the remote drug monitoring program with rapid, reliable results. No more uncomfortable conversations or accusations. Just use your smartphone to complete a tamper-proof saliva test from anywhere. Drinking, drug use, and other addictive behaviors never make anything better. It always makes things worse. In fact, when I used to run an intensive outpatient program, we used to have a saying, and that saying was, there's no problem that alcohol can't make worse. And let me tell you, that's definitely the truth. And needless to say, that also goes for drugs and all the other addictions. If those little addiction monster mouths can't talk you into using right now, they'll convince you to put yourself in the wrong situations. You'll find yourself making excuses for going places and being around people that you know you should have no business being around. And that's because addiction knows if it can get you close enough to it enough times, you'll eventually cave in. Now, one really sneaky thing that addiction does is it makes you think that your friends and your enemies are your friends. Yes, it will have you seeing the situation in 100% complete reverse because lots of times the people that really love you and are trying to help you and support you, they're also trying to make you see some things about yourself that are kind of uncomfortable and that you don't want to see. Even though that's hard and those conversations are uncomfortable, those are your real friends. Now, on the other hand, you may have some using buddies out there who will just validate anything and everything that you say and all your choices and they'll make you feel better about everything and you'll be convinced that those are your real friends when in reality you've got it reversed. In fact, one of the biggest addict thinking patterns there is, is building resentments because it goes along with this self-pity deprivation kind of thinking, which is really just a setup for letting yourself off the hook for some sort of responsibility. Now this next one gets so many people, I can't even begin to tell you how many. And that is the thought about it will be different this 
this time. I won't drink the same as I did before. I won't use this substance. I'll just use that substance. I never had a problem with it. Any version of I want to keep some kind of bad or addictive behavior in my life and I convince myself that it's not going to end terribly. That is for sure an addictive thought. It's a lie and you know it. The key to beating addiction is absolutely 100% to outsmart it. You have to be ahead of these thoughts. Now to go more in depth into this issue, I want you to watch this video next. I call it my Monster Mouths video and it's going to go even more in depth into the topic of addictive thinking. I put it right up here. All you have to do is click it.